in today's video, we're going to go ahead and take a look at nine slicing. And no, right off the top, it's not the attack of everyone's favorite little white Pokemon. It's just one of those really cool things you can do with the sprite. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. In Unity 5.6, we'll have the chance to be able to use this with just regular sprites in our scene. But right now, really, we can only use it with the UI system. So that's what we're going to set up. I'm going to right click, go ahead, create a image. And I'm going to center this image. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and duplicate it first. And then what I'm going to do is go ahead and have one image use the nine slice and the other one using the exact same image, but not using the nine slice. So I'll go ahead and take both of these. And let's just move them over to the center a bit. Great. So I'll take this little pink eye guy down here. And since I have them both selected, I'll drop it into both. And I'm just going to take the first one here, the one without the one on it. And for image type, I'm going to switch it over to sliced. Now, right away, nothing's changed. Let me actually go ahead and make these a little bit bigger. Let's double their size. And we'll just go ahead and move them. I want them big enough so that we can actually see the difference. And we'll zoom in. There we go. So what I'll do next is come down and actually select that image. Now we, we treat it just like any other sprite. So it's a sprite, it's a single sprite. There's not multiple ones on there. Uh, it's clamped and it's using points. So everything's set up the regular way we want. Let's go into the sprite editor. And we've seen these before when playing around with sprites, but we haven't actually talked about them yet. And that's these little green dots. This allows you to set the border, which by the way, before we start playing around with this, Select image one. Uh, we set it to slice and it's saying that we don't have a border set. That's what we're going to be setting up. So I'll quickly jump in one more time. And you just literally grab it and drag it to where you want. And what you're going to be doing is creating some sort of tic-tac-toe board. There's going to be nine sections to it. I'm going to go ahead, drag and drop all these lines to where I want them. You can also go ahead and type it down here for the border. And I'm going to start here first. So what exactly are we doing? Well, all of these corner pieces, they cannot be scaled. They're always going to be this exact same size. The center top and bottom pieces can be scaled horizontally, but not vertically. Likewise with the middle pieces on the side, they can be scaled vertically, but they won't be scaled horizontally. And the center piece is just going to be stretched any which way it needs to be. So let's go ahead. We'll hit apply. And let's go see what happened. And well, here we go. Here's the one that's using the scaled one. It's actually got the sliced. And take note that the bottoms here, the corners did not get scaled. So they're always the same size. Let me grab that rec transform tool. I like to grab both at the same time so we can see the difference in scaling. So as we move it around, this one here gets warped to whatever it needs to be. For this one here, the corners, like I said, are always going to be the same. Then depending what other slice section it falls into, it'll scale appropriately. Anyway, that's how we nine slice a sprite. I did not realize it actually showed down here. Go ahead, play around with this with a few of your other sprites. See what kind of effect that has on your UI. And like I said, in 5.6, we actually get to start using this with sprites that we just place into our scene for level design. And it becomes a lot more useful then. So when that comes out officially, we'll come back and revisit this. But for now, we can still use it for UI. It can be really nice for buttons. But anyway, as always, I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye. So if you like the video, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. It really does help me out here on YouTube. And go ahead and follow me on Twitter. You're a pretty chatty guy over there. When I'm not walking through a forest. Or being stalked by eagles. And falcons. Lions, tigers, and bears.